Hello everybody and welcome back to Magic Things with Alejandro. Uh, today we have a special treat here at the Bolter Hall with the store owner Paul. How's it going? Paul here, special guest on Alejandro's uh, video uh, from the Bolter Hall, uh, Bellingham, Massachusetts local game store. And we specialize in Magic, Warhammer, board games, etc. We host uh, Sunday Modern Unsanctioned during this whole COVID crisis with 8 player max as well as some Friday Commander at 7 p.m. and uh, some sporadic events on Saturdays for Commander for some EDH tournaments. If you're in the Massachusetts or Rhode Island area, go ahead and uh, check us out. We've got a wide inventory of uh, Magic Singles. So there you have it, guys. Uh, check them out here in Massachusetts. Uh, today, though, we're going to be doing some pre-release pack openings. Uh, I'm going to go uh head to head with paul and see who opens up more value according to tcg player right yes we're gonna go uh, tcg mid and we're only gonna care about the rares and foils in this we're gonna uh not really care about the showcases unless it's something special um, so all right let's see this so we'll go uh, i guess uh we'll open them up and we'll go pack for pack and show off what we've got and then i'll keep a tally going along on the side and we won't show the uh the final card will be the pre-release stamp card which could change the whole thing you know okay that that'll be like the final sway okay so, yeah that makes sense all right so, so let's let's go you want to go first sure all right do you want to cut it open with a razor blade yeah so people start getting antsy with the razor blade yeah here you go with the stock of the playmat, I need that at some point. Woo! There we go. This guy is going to cut I'm, himself. I'm going to do it right through the packs as well. Oh All right. my god. All right, now let me go off camera so I can sneak in some good stuff. All right. <laughs> Sounds legit. Okay, I won't. You don't. I didn't look. The only way I, I, I would have seen. <laughs> I don't it, even know what, it, what it's worth, but yeah, I kind of picked. Oh, the dice is coming. Let's see. Oh, and another uh, little special giveaway. So whoever wants this, go ahead and uh, take that code for um, uh, get your pre-release on, courtesy of the Bolter Hole. All right. So here we so go. Let's see. All right, you're going to go first? Sure. Yeah, you go first. All right, let's see. All right. Moment of truth. Are these Japanese printed? These oh. are not. These are actually, so the rare will be in the back. Um, the current draft boosters that uh, came in for the first run are the Japanese style with the rare in the front, but these are not. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Let's read each common and uncommon. Sure. No. I think people are going to storm the castle with that. To clean the wings. Ooh. There's a little showcase. So we're we counting that or no? No. Okay, no, comments, it, it's probably going to be worth, like, you know, pennies. Just rares and foils. Let's see. Oh, oh there you go. Which one counts? This one or the back side? Oh, the I front. I think this one, the, right? The, well, yeah. All right. Let me, uh, let me, uh, actually, I'll, I'll check the value right now. So that's four eighty six at TCG Mid. So we're gonna round that up to five. So you're up to a five dollar lead on this. Okay. All right. Let me see what we got in here. Let's cut this open with uh, the razor blade. Oh my god! <laughs> I thought he was gonna do it, guys. <laughs> uh, if that's what they want, you know. It's all for the lulls. All right. Let's see. Nothing's. Uh, Gonna to be too crazy in these spots, so we can actually just kind of fast forward through this. If you if you want a more in-depth uh pack opening, definitely you know check out Alejandro's other videos. He'll go through each card and give you a backstory on each one, tell you who the artist is, and that so I'll put that showcase down. I should there. definitely do that. I should definitely do, do backstories on the... Okay, great. I don't think I'm uh doing very well on that one. Let's see. Let's see. Let's get a price check on this. Let's see. The Oren Reef Ooze. Some ooze is uh, 69 cents. We're going to round that up to a dollar. So you have a $4 lead on me right now. Okay. Oh, is that? We just put the all the cards in the pile. And then we do it like that. We could do that. I just thought for a second there, I was like... Oh, that way so you can see... Like, no, no, that totally makes sense. Because I was, and you and, I was okay. putting them aside as a courtesy for you. But these are not even your packs. 
Well, don't tell him that. Okay. <laughs> So, and oh, I kind of want that. Yeah, this uh, it's interesting how they have you know these nice little uh, green ones, See translucent, uh, with some bubbles inside of it. I don't know if you can get a good view of it, but then the other ones you get are just solid, and uh, I think there's some that are speckled. But interesting that they didn't go all the translucent kind of cool. Yeah, why won't they? It's not like they cost them any more money. I'm gonna blame it on COVID, right now. Is that what it is? It definitely was. All right, come on, get something terrible. Get a bulk rare. <laughs> I think it's on math or, or boss at this point, though. No? You know, I'm, I'm going into this, but I actually didn't check the monetary values on a lot of things, so nice. I am. All right, so Manolin Cacophony. I think that may actually be good. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I... this is a value card right here. You can make this any card that you want. Zero research into this before doing this. You know, we did all of our prep work. That's two ninety four at mid, so it's going to be three dollars. I'm gonna definitely. You're up to eight. I'm gonna definitely write uh, black lotus on this. Yes, on the win, and it's gonna be an alpha too. All right, on to my second pack. Come on, we need something good here, people. I gotta beat Alejandro. One of his magic birds are on the line right now. I get to pick. <laughs> so for the cats. Oh, man. Oh, God. I'm not putting the cat in the line. My wife would kill me. Uh, let's see. Let's go right through these. Oh, knife. Oh. The one comments. Hey. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. You got me with everything now. All right. So I got the foil rare and the uh, foil, one of these flip lands. So, Rover. oh, let's see. Let's see. Does this get me the $7 value to get back into this game? Or I think that's probably more than that, no? Uh, let's see. Oh, come on. Which land is that? The gruel? Uh, red, oh, no, is the red, red white. Oh. Boros? Yeah, yes. Boros. All right, so the uh, Relic Robber is $1.13. I get a $2 bump out of that to bring me up to 3 And let's see about the Needle Verge Pathway. Come on, Pathway is four ninety two to get me to 5 So we are now tied after two packs. Excellent. Okay. All right. Let's see. Very, very exciting times here. I have the boulder hole. I just want to hear the omnath and go ballistic. We can do some more opening videos in the future. Let's see. All right. It's Scorch Rider. With the kicker at, at four uh, CMC, uh, the card must not be playable anywhere. All right, Charix. Oh, the crab, the legendary crab, the one and only legendary crab. I think that's. I think that might be worth something. I don't think it is, but it's worth oh. a lot to me because you want it. crab tribal. Uh, I mean, who doesn't want to build EDH uh, crab tribal? Crab. This is ninety-five cents. Jeez, it's gonna get you a dollar, but you're still in the lead, nine to eight. Let's see. Mm, let's see what you get. All right. Yeah, the legendary crab's kind of cool. Um, Crafty people. I'd love to have that guy out with high alert. That'd be pretty sweet. Swinging for 17 would be amazing. Let's take a look here. Let's see. What do I get? Come on. No whammies. No whammies. No whammies. Oh. In comments. A uh, Scoot Swarm. All right. I don't think that's what I wanted. Scoot Swarm. That's All right. Um, does this get me a dollar? Uh, $7.75 at the mid right now. That's It's interesting. The low is $1.94. Market $5.43. But for the sake of this video, just to keep it, uh, we're doing the mid. Uh, so that's going to be seven. It's going to be eight dollars. Oh, so that puts me up to sixteen and well in the lead, sixteen to nine. You definitely need to sell that right away. Yeah, that that <laughs> would definitely be a sell. What does this even do? Um, it, it has landfall. I told you, landfall is a thing. Doesn't everything have landfall in this set? 
No. But they did reprint the Lotus Cobra, which is a rare, I think. Or they put Mythic on it. Hmm. Okay. Some scoot. All right, let's see what happens here. 16-9. Let's see. I need all math. If, uh, for the win. I want the divider. There you go. Paragon. Oh. Paragon. Yeah, again, I, I make my uh, judgments with no knowledge, but I'm going to say this is probably not going to get you. Uh, it is 79 cents. Two bulk rares. That puts you up to 10, and that's a $6 lead for me. I feel like he's setting me up. Heading into the up. second half. He's setting me up. All right, here we go. I didn't. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, it didn't get cut. Uh, let's see. Cascade Sears. See? Well, razor Blade's not sharp enough to cut through that. Don't worry about it. It's a great blue card. All right. I don't know why I was... I was going for, like, the slow reveal for the commons. Who cares? Right? No? Tormenting Voice. That's cool. Tormenting Voice back again. I didn't actually check a lot of the... Uh, I wonder if anything is spoilers. playable. If anything is playable? In the commons, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, there's another crab. Everybody loves crabs. Isn't that the one for the mill? Uh, yeah, mills. Yeah, mills three cards. That's for my Hogak deck, people. Oh, oh, definitely not what you wanted to see, but I'm happy to see that. We've got a bright climb pathway, and that should be another five bucks. Yes, that, that's definitely going to. Uh, it's it's four ninety nine at the mid, so that's another $5. So that puts. My total at 21, and Alejandro's at 10. Oh, my God. We need something on that. Yeah, you need a pricey no, card. No, the other now. one, the... What you call it? What's the artifact name? I don't even know what the artifact name is. Like, like, like Paul said, we did a lot of research before doing this video. <laughs> what, what do you mean? There's no box topper in this thing? <laughs> you wish. I will buy all the things. <laughs> You give me box stopper. Oh, glass pool myth mimic. Okay. Shape shifter. Oh, oh, I think I won. Oh. I think I just won. Oh. Hey! Okay. What? <laughs> oh man. So let. That is definitely it right there. Let's take a look. The glass pool mimic is two dollars and thirty cents at the mid. So that's gonna put you three. So that gets you to thirteen. Let's see how much this ley line tyrant foil will. Uh, That's the one with the red mana thing, no? Yes, it is. That's this is actually forty dollars. Who knows? This is gonna be. Uh, it's gonna be played in a lot of things. Yeah, I could see this in my uh, um, a couple of my mono red uh, EDH decks. Let's see. It's not an extended art. It is. Wow. That's like my whole total right here. It is twenty dollars and seventy cents. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna put this right in my in my pool over here. Twenty one, which will put you at thirty four dollars total to my twenty one. So you just doubled what my. Uh, I'm just gonna take my stuff and go home. Um, okay. Okay. <laughs> Actually, it's all my stuff. Oh, this guy. He just plug it. All back. right. Uh, let's see. Keeps doing this. He oh. definitely destroyed the card this time. This time we did, and it's into the royal. Uh, nice little reprint that was completely damaged by me. All right. Did it go through the second card? No, <laughs> it's not that. Uh, oh, it's not that uh, sharp. Savage. Yeah, that's what you you come to this channel for, for really. Uh, ooh. That's this guy's a pretty really cool card. yeah, really cool looking. I don't know if it's playable. No, uh, it's not worth anything, I doubt. All right, this is my rare anything. Ooh, Scoot Swarm, that another is, one. But that is definitely worth money. Let's see. Let's uh, let's get right in there. Um, let's see. Scoot Swarm. Whoa, my, my app's frozen. All right. Well, that's going to be $12. It's eleven fifty-eight. It's going to add $12 to my total, which is going to put me to 33 yeah, I figured. So we have 34, 33. Right back into it. Right back into it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Final no. packs, everybody. Final packs. 
And by the time you watch this video, these prices will most likely have all <laughs> <Different>. tanked. <laughs> so don't don't do any trades based upon the numbers that we're giving to you here. Yeah, I definitely want to hold off on anything. Oh, this is kind of cool. Got a little nectar pot. Yeah. I like yeah, I like the style on these. I mean, not worth anything, but it's cute. It's definitely cute. The nectar pot. There we go. Okay. Is that gonna? Oh, is there something behind it? A, a swamp. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I'm feeling good about this. Going one pack in and then going down to the uh, the tiebreaker for the uh, uh, pre-release promos. This is 56 cents at the mid. So that is going to put you at $35 total for your packs. I'm at 33. So I need a $3 pack, a uh, $3 card. And then we go to the uh, pre-release. This is, this is really good value. Yeah, actually, this is not bad at all. Almost double the money. I'd take yours over mine, though. I had to look at it again, but yeah. All right, let's see. Give us something good. But everything could change with that pre-release card. Oh. Uh, that's double, probably... Double whammy. Yeah. So I don't think that's going to do much, but let's see. Did we get any Mythics out of this? Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, beyond your... Your big splashy thing. Um, okay, so this is a 50 cent bulk. So that puts me to 34. And this, I, I think we're base valuing at a dollar anyways. So it's 25 cents rounded up to a dollar. So we are tied 35, 35. Going into the reveal of our pre-release cards. So let's see, who wins this battle? Going down to this as a tiebreaker, I... Well, do you want to reveal first, or do you want to reveal both at the same time? All right, let's see. Uh, I don't know. I have no idea. Are we going to be tied still? Blue wins. Blue. Blue always wins. Let's see. Um, I'll scan mine first. Oh, jeez. Oh, you know what? I don't know if the pre-release cards actually. Oh, get out of here! <laughs> the... I don't think they're actually on TCG currently. We can do the foil versions of this. Yeah, we'll just go by the the foil. So my, the foil for this, if it wasn't a pre-release foil, it would be uh, 65 cents. So that puts me at 36. If yours is more than a dollar, you win, sir. If not, we tie? Oh, you got it. You got it. It is $7.94 for a foil. So that puts you at 43 to my 36. Congratulations, you are the winner. I'd shake your hand, Yay! but no COVID. COVID. All right. So, th so there you have it, guys. Uh, come here and pick up some pre-release packs uh, to the Bolter Hole or in your local game store. Well, since you made it to the end of the video, here is the other promo code. Thank you for surviving this video. Uh, go ahead and uh, stop the video, pause the video, take that and use that. And all right. So there you have it. Let me know in the comments what you think about this video. It's a new style format thing, so take yeah, care. Yeah, make sure to comment and tell, tell them you want more Paul. Less Alejandro. <laughs> I think they want more Alejandro. <laughs> All right, guys. Take care.